last year a motor motor neuron diseased patient became the first person to tweet a message using only his brain this was made possible by a microchip that was implanted into the brain the chip allows patients to carry out computer tasks just using their minds do you think this will be as common as having a mobile in the near future when the price of the chip at the surgery will be affordable i think eventually this could become quite common uh initially it will be used for people who are quadriplegics and people who are paralyzed people who are who have uh, the, the so called locked in syndrome which means that they are fully conscious but they are locked inside their body is completely unresponsive and they are unable to control the body for whatever reason using their mind so the body appears like it's in the vegetative state but the person inside is fully conscious and aware of what's happening and you can figure this out using brain scans and all that you know when you ask a question the brain responds immediately to that which shows a uh, response to external stimulus which means the person is conscious to some extent and when you implant these chips then you can actually possibly communicate with the person so uh this technology is currently uh, a work in progress but like you say like you said here uh, this has happened uh, i even heard that some per- that a person with a brain implant a chip implanted in the brain was able to surf the internet and order order a coke or a pizza or something like that you know or 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 ask the computer to play sir their, their favorite music so that sort of thing is currently uh, definitely possible with the technology that we have today it will eventually become more common it will first be used for patients who suffer from these problems but eventually it will be implanted in fully functional human beings to enhance their abilities so this is called transhumanism and that's what elon musk is doing with his uh, neuralink project that company which aims to implant microchips in the brains of perfectly healthy and normal human beings and that will give them a uh, certain capabilities that we typically don't have right so maybe you'll be able to surf the internet right away without uh, needing your fingers to type or whatever you'll be able to directly issue commands to the to your wifi or whatever <laughs> using your brain using your mind using your thoughts and you may be able to uh, eventually instead of using screens you may be able to visualize data and and images right in, in your brain using this technology so that could happen so i think initially there's going to be some uh, skepticism about this kind of technology because people will be wondering whether this sort of implant could cause any brain damage or not or whether it's going to be used to control your mind you know there's going to be all kinds of uh, fears and uh, definitely initially there will be hesitancy and resistance but as more and more people over time adopt this technology it will become more and more common and then eventually there will be a tipping point when everybody wants it but of course like i've said before in the past there are potential problems and uh, so that's something that people need to keep in mind so yeah i think eventually it will become quite common just like having mobiles i mean it took a it took a long time for mobiles to become uh, ubiquitous the technology was first introduced in the 1990s if i'm not mistaken by vodafone in england and it took at least a decade before it became like reasonably prevalent and uh, it's on the only the 21st century that it totally took off uh, in other countries especially in india etc so it takes time but i think eventually uh this could become quite common